Hello audience. Today we will discuss about the automotive lightning systems. First we will have a look on the components of automobile lighting system. Headlights. Tail lights. Side lights. Auxiliary lights. Interior light. Light accessories. More and more automotive manufacturers are moving away from halogen light bulbs and adopting LED technology. But LED lighting systems have diverse power supply requirements, depending on the number of devices present on a string, the current needed, dimming, and other factors. A traditional linear regulator cannot always meet these needs, so designers are increasingly relying on switch mode power supplies, SMPS. These create an electromagnetic compatibility EMC, compliance issue that needs to be addressed. Fortunately, there are many effective ways to improve the EMC of an LED driver designed through component placement and layout, as well as helpful features that semiconductor manufacturers are adding to their products. Let us look at some of them. Semiconductor EMC Improvements In the last several years, Semiconductor manufacturers have thought of several ways to improve DC to DC power and efficiency while also improving the EMC of circuits. One approach has been to use frequency spread spectrum FSS, modulation, sometimes called dithering, to spread the fundamental switching frequencies energy over a wider band with a lower peak value. This approach allows the converter to pass EMC tests while switching inside the AM band, 535 kHz to 1605 kHz. It also decreases noise radiated in the FM band, 88 MHz to 108 MHz, when the converter switches above AM band frequencies. Another way that manufacturers have improved converter EMI is to include an in-package decoupling capacitor. LED technology allows for innovations in signaling and safety, as more and more LEDs are used to help drivers communicate with their vehicles. Modern LED lighting designs need to offer great flexibility while remaining robust and free of EMC issues. Functional improvements in LED driver silicon are also helping address this issue. Let's look at the Automotive EMC problems Until now, wiring harnesses have been used to distribute power and signals throughout automotive systems. However, as can be seen in figure, they are usually routed to accommodate long paths and remote LED lighting switching regulator locations are far away from the car battery. Moreover, they have parasitic inductances or capacitances which incur the adverse resonant effects associated with noise currents. As a result, there are two typical EMC problems arising with respective solutions as described. Instead of implementing all of the common but costly measures, it is recommended to focus on suppressing the noise source as much as possible. Now we discuss about the wire harness routing. Wire harnessing will effects on the wire capacitance and inductance. These two effects create coupling from one wire to another. The coupling happens when there is a change in voltage or current in one wire, with respect to nearby wires. Now let us see, how and where wires are routed can affect the whole system's performance. Spacing The effects of wire coupling decrease with distance. Therefore, the further apart wires can be spaced, the less the coupling. The coupling effect is also cumulative. This means that the greater the distance that two wires are running alongside of each other, the greater the coupling. Two wires, 6 inches apart, for 10 feet will have only half of the coupling effect as two wires, 6 inches apart, for 20 feet. If wires need to be crossed, do so in a perpendicular fashion as this will reduce the coupling down to a minimum. Sensitive Wires Some wires, due to their function, are more sensitive to noise coupling than others. This includes wires to and from sensors, levers, potentiometers and other analog sources. 
These wires should be kept as far away as possible from noise sources, particularly the problem wires. Noisy wires. Some wires will be worse noise sources than others will. Thus, their coupling to other wires should be considered. The main wires to consider are the main battery and ground wires, along with any high voltage, high current or pulsing, PWM, wires. Battery and ground wires are notoriously noisy, since everything on the vehicle tends to be attached to them, so they collect and transmit a lot of electrical noise. By high voltage, we generally mean signals that swing all the way from battery to ground. The greater the voltage swing, the greater the coupled noise. Typically, any output from a controller that provides power to coils, Solenoids or other high current loads can be a substantial noise source due to this effect. The high current and inductive loads, like valve coils, solenoids, relays, starters can produce a lot of noise. Signals that change frequently create more noise than other signals. Pulse width modulated, PWM, signals that drive proportional valves are typically noisier than most on, off signals. For example, a 100 Hz valve when active will have 100 pulses per second. Therefore, it is always preferable to root these noisy wires away from others. Now we will discuss, how SMPS will contribute the noise source. DC to DC converters provide great efficiency for voltage regulation. However, they have an undeserved bad reputation when it comes to systems with sensitive signal paths because of the noise they can generate. On top of their output triple noise, they also generate conducted or radiated electromagnetic interference EMI. Solutions include using a boot resistor, snubber circuit, ferrite bead and feed-through capacitors. The impact of operating frequency and switching topology the choice of operating frequency and type of switching topology is important from an EMC perspective since they can yield quite different EMI performance. It is often desirable from space and cost considerations to choose a high frequency switching regulator with small inductors. However, the fast edges associated with high frequency switches can cause harmonics that are difficult to damp down a prerequisite if conducted and radiated tests are not to be failed. The PWM signal is not ideally square waves, are more likely repetitive trapezoidal pulses, which can be asymmetrical having different rise and fall time. The timing parameters of the PWM signal determine the spectral envelope of the radiated emissions. By using predefined on or off time of the PWM signal, Specific harmonics can be removed from overall spectrum. For example, this can be achieved in the buck converters using fixed on time control. Simpler hysteretic converters offer a variable frequency output, which if handled with care can produce an inherent spread spectrum response that reduces average radiated and conducted emissions. If noise filters are needed then the lowest operating frequency needs to be known to design a suitable filter. ESD and RF immunity considerations. Switching regulators are no different from any other analog circuit with respect to ESD. Normal system considerations should be taken into account to ensure the circuit is shielded or protected by suitable ESD diodes. The same is true for RF. Although the RF levels in automotive tests are much more severe than in commercial and industrial environments. Low impedances are more immune than high impedances. This is particularly important on dimming control and status pins. Now we will discuss about the Automotive EMC Standards EMC standards in automotive lighting applications are vehicle manufacturer dependent. Table summarizes the automotive test standards for a generic Tier 1 car manufacturer. The tests cover the supply of electrical products to a vehicle manufacturer only and do not extend to whole vehicle testing, which remains exclusively the domain of the vehicle manufacturer. Normally, we consider emission testing measurements. CISBR 25 
conducted and radiated emissions for equipment operating in ISM, industrial, scientific, medical, frequency bands, to lighting technology in aircraft and airports and to other specifically exempted equipment. Figure shows limits of CISPR 25 conducted emission, voltage measurement. Figure shows limits of CISPR 25 radiated emission, broadband services. Figure shows limits of CISPR 25 radiated emission, mobile services. Now we will discuss on the Design considerations for better EMC This turretic LED driver that guarantees a constant current on the LED with a very simple circuit. The hysteretic converter is a variable frequency topology. EMI filters need to be designed to take into account the lowest operating frequency. In order to successfully attenuate, the switcher noise of fourth order low pass by filter will be used. The filter offers more than 60 dB attenuation at 300 kHz. The necessary damping circuits need to be incorporated around the LED lighting switching regulator. In addition, the use of the fast hysteretic converter can delay the switching frequency, and benefit from a lower frequency operation, which attenuates the overall emissions. We Croydon Services Private Limited, will provide you the EMC solutions for automotive lighting equipment. You can reach us on info at croydonservices.com or visit us on www.croydonservice.com. Thank you.